All right, guys. So make sure you guys have Dr. Racket open. And down at the bottom left, it says beginning student. If that's all good to go, then we can get started. So we're going to learn about the basics, basics of expressions and evaluation rules. All right. So after a semicolon is a comment. And comments are for jotting down notes. Anything can go on line three. Right? We can just go nuts, have a party, mash the keyboard. It won't matter. It's ignored by the language, and it's just for, you know, a programmer to read some notes about some code. If you do a multi-line comment, it's shift and then the pipe symbol, followed by uh, this closing pair. So anything inside here is uh, a comment again, but it just allows comments to be spread amongst multiple lines. All right. Uh, if you don't know where the pipe symbol is, it is right above the enter key. Right above the enter key is a backslash. Uh, you hold shift and shift backslash and it'll type out this pipe symbol. All right, so with that out of the way, let's get started. So how this programming language works is that there's one really main rule that you have to remember. All right, and that is open parentheses, the name of an operator that always comes first, and a set of arguments, arg1 and arg2. All right. So sometimes arguments are referred to operands in this language, but I'm going to use arguments because that's what I'm familiar with. OK, so let's make uh, an expression. So this is an expression plus is the operator. OK, and we're going to give it two and four. You can guess what this produces. If we mouse over to the run button on the top right and hit run. Well, we get the number six. That's not surprising. The hotkey for this is control R. And that's what I'm going to be using. So if you don't see me mouse to the top right and you see this bottom uh, half of the screen flash while well, I'm hitting control R. All right. So this highlighted block here is called an expression. And all expressions eventually produce values. All right. In this case, that value is a number. And that number is 6. No surprise because 2 plus 4 is 6. So another word I may use in place of produce is um, execute or evaluate. Um, they all mean the same thing. I will try to use produce because I guess it flows more with the systems of thought. OK, so arguments themselves can be expressions. So let's do an example. So plus two, four. And inside this plus two, four, I'm just going to do another expression. So minus five, four. And let's do another one plus one, one. So the rules for evaluating this is to look from left to right and evaluate expressions to values. OK, so plus looks from left to right. It sees a two. You are cool because you're a value, right? A number is a value Four, you're cool. And then it hits an expression. This expression needs to be evaluated to a value before we continue forward. So I'm going to copy and paste this to a second line to show you guys the steps, All right? So step two, step one, actually, All right? So what's minus five, four? Well, that's just one. So that turns into a one. I'm just going to space this out. And then we have, we keep going right, and we see this expression, plus one, one. So that needs to be evaluated to a value. So let's evaluate that expression. It's a step two. This is going to turn into a two. And now plus has everything it needs to do its job. All the arguments are values, and it can add them all up. All right. So the final step is to sum them all up. 2 plus 4 is uh, 6, plus 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. So 9. So when I hit Control-R, uh, we see four nines, because this is the first 9, second 9, third 9, and fourth 9. No surprises there. All right. So let's do an even more nested expression. All right. Let's do, let's say, plus 2, 4, and then times 5, 5, minus plus 3, 3, let's do 2, put a 1 there. All right, so the rules for evaluating this expression is the same, but there's one sort of extra caveat that you should pay attention to. So still left to right, that much. All right, so let's do that first. So step 1. So plus sees a 2, you're cool. Sees a 4, you're also cool because they're already numbers. 
and then it hits an expression. That expression needs to be a value before we continue forward, sir or ma'am. So uh, times by 5, we need to evaluate that to a value. That's 25, right? So we keep going right, and then we see the subtraction operation. So let's do that step. Control copy, paste here. Okay, so minus then needs to do its left to right uh, evaluation steps. So it says, I need numbers. And what I find is an expression. You, sir or ma'am, <laughs> need to be a value. So let's evaluate you to a value. And this should be step two. So plus three, three should be six. Okay, I'm gonna space this out uh, for more readability. So notice how we're back out here to the uh, subtraction. So we just went inside here to do the plus, And then after that's done, it comes becomes a six. And then we're back out here to do the subtraction. So the other uh, thing that you have to memorize is uh, inside to out, right? We went inside to do this plus. After we were done with this plus, it became a six. And now we're back outside to the subtraction operation, right? Anywho, after that's done, we can now evaluate this subtraction operation. And that is four minus six, two is four. And now plus has all it needs to do its job. And we can start evaluating that to the final resulting value. So 25 plus four is, uh, let's see, 29 plus, one is 30 plus four is 34 plus two is 36. So this finally becomes 36, the value. So we hit control R, uh, we should see one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Not surprising there. Five thirty sixes. all right? So to recap this one last time, we go from left to right. And as we come across something that is an expression, well, that needs to turn into a value first. So this time psi 5 becomes 25. Once we keep going right, we see a nested sub-expression. That is an expression with an expression inside it. And that's where we go from inside, right? This plus 3, 3 turns into a 6. And then we're back outside to this block of subtraction. And then it can finally carry on. We get the 4 down here. And then all the numbers are all the arguments are values, and we get 36 finally. All right, so let's do a couple more examples because this really has to be nailed into your heads. It's an essential building block of the language. And if you don't understand the flow of this, well, you're gonna struggle in the later sections pretty bad. All right, so if you go to this website, justlearn.com slash how underscore to underscore code, don't worry, I will link that in the description. We're going to do exercise two, expressions and evaluations with numbers. I'm going to go ahead and click that and do this exercise. So I'm going to copy and paste this into the top window editor and see if you can beat me to the solution. I'm going to go over spoilers in three, two, and one. Okay, so left to right, inside and out. So this times, 100 block here. As we keep going right, we see an expression with two nested sub-expressions inside them. Those need to be evaluated first. So this times by one becomes five. So I'm gonna copy and paste these steps like this, like so. You don't have to do this copy and pasting, but I am doing it to show the work for you guys. So this becomes uh, five. And then the next one becomes two. So we just hit enter, this becomes two. And now we're back outside to the subtraction, right? So now we're gonna evaluate that subtraction. So step three. So this is gonna evaluate to three. We keep going right, I'm gonna space this out. And let's see. As we keep going right, we see a plus with one nested sub-expression. So that has to get evaluated. That's going to be nine. All right. So this is step four, actually. I'm going to space this. Yeah, I'll leave it right here. It's fine. 
So as we keep going, this seven plus seven nine can happen, and that is sixteen. And now we can keep going right. We see times eight and one, that becomes just eight. And we keep going right, we see this plus seven nine. That becomes just 16 again. And now we can finally do all of the required uh, steps for multiplication. All right, so 16. So what is three times three times 16 times eight times 16? I don't know the answer to that and I'm kind of too lazy to get the scratch pad out to do the math. So I'm gonna paste it down here and run it. And that is our answer. So let me copy and paste this to the answer box. It says input a number, ergo 42. So that's just an example answer. I'm gonna hit check. We got it right. All right. So I'm sure that one of you guys will realize, well, I can just copy this whole expression, paste it down into this bottom window, hit enter and bam, I got the answer out. Well, of course that's not what I want you guys to do because that defeats the whole purpose of this lecture and exercise. The entire point is to really get you used to the flow of left to right and then inside to out. Not just from an intellectual perspective where you're just watching and observing someone do it, right? But from a muscle memory point of view, you can make mistakes here on, on these uh, simple problems, uh, correct your intuition, get feedback right now while the problems are still simple, rather than way down the line when we have more complicated problems and programs and you're going to be like, ah, oh, I don't understand what it's doing because uh, I don't know how it's evaluating, right? You want to catch it now while well, it's still simple, all right? So it's easy to follow someone, but it's hard to lead, and you guys will have to lead with your own thoughts eventually. However, I will allow when you get to, I guess, more later steps like these, where the, mul where the multiplication is, like, really long. You don't want to get out a piece of paper and, uh, you know, do it manually. Or like when you can't do the multiplication in your head, like if it's like 99 times 99. I don't want to get out a piece of paper and like, you know, draw that down. This is not about testing your uh, arithmetic skills. It's about, again, left to right and inside to out. Okay, so uh, finish these 10 exercises. Once you're done, you can give yourself a check mark and stuff right here if you feel comfortable. You can also discuss this. Uh, there's like a sort of forums. You can post your comments, etc. Anyways, I, that's about it for this one, and I will catch you in the next one. Thank you for watching, He-Man. If you wish to interact with more of your kind, join our Discord link in the description or on screen. If you want to aid in my quest for world domination, consider hitting the sub button. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it, thumbs down if you didn't. Any questions, comments, or suggestions, fire away below. Also, check out the annotations on screen for the next relevant video.